<laughs> you have to wait a sec. I've got to open this gate now. Hey, Java. Yeah, clever boy. Okay, I'm letting the lambs. This area has not had anything grazing it for months. Months and months and months. It's full of herbs. Come on, babies. Come on. Hoo! Come on. Come on. Hoo! Brindle. Come on, babies. Come on. There we go. Now you have the silly ones that don't realize there's an opening. <laughs> anyway. Look at that, making a bee line for the um, chicory. The chicory is really high in vitamins and minerals. So look at that, a bee line, just munching the chicory. They are gonna have a lovely time in here. There's loads of chicory and plantain and the sheep, the lambs. Those guys don't understand. They're like, where's the gate? We can't get in. Okay. They're going to go all the way up the length of the fence. So I'm going to open the gate at the other end. They're loving it. Look at that. She is, he is eating red clover. He's eating the red clover. He's eating, what are you eating? Oh, that's another red clover. Oh, reading, eating red clover blooms. Look, eating that chicory. They're having a lovely time. This is the best food in here. So many different species of plants for them to eat. Having the best life. And then those silly ones. So I'm going to go over here and open the gate at the other end so they have access. Look at that. Nearly the end of October and red clover is still flowering. So this is, this has not been eaten since April or May even, or no, actually this area has not been eaten since January. So it's been allowed to grow back and you can see the sheep are having a lovely time grazing in it. There's yarrow is still blooming. There's loads of red clover and chicory down the far end over there. There's bits of chicory in and out of here. And other herbs you can see right there. So loads of yarrow. Oh, and look, there's hawkweed. Hawkweed is still flowering. There's, uh, this is chicory. That's a chicory. Here's, this is salad burnet. This is a wonderful plant, really deep rooted, mineral rich, really important to a deep rooting sward is salad burnet. Here, look, this is a hawkweed. It's still blooming. So they're having a lovely time browsing through here. All kinds of herbs. Oh, look at who's joined us. Look at that. You're almost the same color as the hawkweed. Aren't you kitty? Yeah. Yeah. You're a good kitty. You're a beautiful kitty. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> now mind your claws, please. My legs do not feel like having puncture wounds in them. Okay, you beautiful kitty. Ow, ow, ow. No, stop. <laughs> you, are, you are a 
mad spoon. Absolute mad spoon. Whoops. I'm going to step on you if you're not careful. You just want me to follow you, huh? Yes. I want to look at the sheep. You keep stepping where I want to step. So the sheep have plenty to eat in here. Loads of grasses. Hopefully the minerals have been adjusted so I won't have as many thistles next year. This is going to be bale grazed by the horses again, which is added to the fertility of the soil. You can see the difference. That's been grazed three times this year. This has not been grazed. Look, here you can see a mature chicory plant. So I'm hoping that these seed heads will spread more seed. There you can see there's some chicory seed. Isn't that right, kitty? There's more chicory there. Don't smack me. Anyway, they're loving this section here. This was the last section the horses were grazing. And I sowed loads of chicory and plantain and sanfloin and lucerne and all these kind of things in there. And I think that's why the sheep are liking it the most and the alpaca is because it has the richest diversity. So they're really having a lovely time browsing. They're all munching away. Look at all the, the white is all yarrow blooming, still blooming. Look at that, they are having a feast, an absolute feast. And what's also amazing is the beech trees are still in full leaf. These are all beech trees. That's an ash. That's a crab apple, hawthorn, hawthorn, uh, uh, sorry, crab apple, hawthorn, hawthorn, um, crab apple. You tried to jump up on me just then, didn't you? He just wants attention. You're just greedy for attention, aren't you, Mustard? Oh, what are you growling at? Yes. <laughs> I think the grass is too tall for um, Java. He's probably over here somewhere. Look at all this. Oh, it's so lovely seeing all the different herbs in here and really getting a good go, establishing their roots and things like that. They all think they're being bold because it's so delicious. So given time, more and more of my fields will have an increasing amount of this biodiversity, what I aim for. And you came galloping across the field to catch up. Oh, there's Maya. Hey, Maya, how are you? Pup. Have you abandoned Java? Java stuck somewhere. I better go find Java. Yes. Oh, you're so clever. Oh, you're so clever. Oh, you want to climb up. Okay, I'm going to go find Java because the tall grass was too much for him. Coming to the end of this wonderful, diverse herbal patch. And there's Java. Yes. What are you waiting for me, Java? You good boy. You good boy. Oh, you're being bullied away by your sister. Good boy. Where's the kitty? Mustard's disappeared. Probably found a vole to go hunting for. So this plantation, I'm doing a bit of mulching. I'm not going to mulch on this. It's a lovely um, sagey smelling herb, but I'm going to mulch on the grass around the base of this cherry tree. This coxfoot 
Ah, uh, this cock's foot. You can always tell cock's foot because of those. Uh, will take over this. But see, I love all the columbine and the herbs and everything. So I want those. So I'm just mulching the grassy bits. And I've been mucking out the yard here because there's been so much manure and rain and mud and straw and everything. So I'm gonna wheel that over and dump it in the entrance way of there and spread it around in there for delicious, nutrient-rich stuff for the trees and it'll suppress the grass growth. So that's what I've been doing. Come on, Pop. You gotta get out of the way. You don't wanna get stuck on Stomp Don, do you? No. No. Can you stay there? Stay there. No, you're not gonna stay there. Stay there. Ah, ah. No. Okay, everybody's here. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Two, four, six, eight. So everybody's here. Hey, puppers, come on. Puppers, come on. Good dogs. We're gonna go look in the orchard, see how things are up here. Well, they're eating into that bale of hay and I'm gonna have to get a new mineral lick soon. And this mineral lick, they're chomping down on it in a great way, which is really, really good. So there's still lots of apples and grass for them up here. I love how these apple trees have been here so long. Some of them have ferns growing in them. Look all the way up here. I just love that. Maybe it's not good for the apple tree, but it's good for the biodiversity. I love that aspect of farming here. Look at the moss just covered in moss and lichens, lichens, whatever you want to call them. Look, more ferns. So loads of mosses. There's a several different varieties. I don't know their names. You can see here's, this is obviously one. It's got these long tendril things. And we have loads of different lich lichens. L lichens, 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 whatever they're called. See, here's some. That's one variety. And then there's a load of other varieties hanging off the branches. They're beautiful. That's moss and look at those. Okay. The hazels still have their leaves on them. And they're already starting to... These are their, that's their form of fertility, how they reproduce. And mustards joined us. Have you come again? Yeah, you're helping with all the farm jobs today, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, you beautiful kitty. Okay, the sheep are probably done. We can herd them up the laneway. Inca, you behave. We're walking past them. And then we go to the bottom of the lane and then we herd back up again. See all the years have gone all the way down to the bottom of the lane. They're looking for the fresh grass. <laughs> it's all three of them. Up. Oh. Hey, 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 leave them, leave them, leave them, leave, leave, leave. Maya, leave. Java, Java, come on. 
Good dogs. Come on. Maya, leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Ah, ah. Maya, leave it. Come here. Come on. Maya, 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 leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Hey, Maya, leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Good girl, leave it. Good girls, leave it. Ah, leave it. Good girl. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Leave it. Okay, go on. Brindle, back here. Okay, Maya. Come on. Good girl. Good girl. You learned how to leave it. You're learning. Yes, good girl. And Mustard, you're just above it all, aren't you? Java, come on. Java, Java, come on. At a good boy, come on. Leave it, come on. Good boy, come here. Ah, ah, ah. Come on, good boy, come on. Come on. Good boy. Good girls, you've been fed for the day. You're a beautiful girl, aren't you? Kestrel. Come on, boys. Good boys. Next is to bring them in. A lot more rain now coming again. These are getting more and more beautiful as we go into winter. They haven't even bloomed yet, yet they look so beautiful. It's always after I plant something and it starts growing really well, I always go, ah, oh, I wish I planted more. We've got five here. I have them elsewhere as well. But when always, I always go, oh, I wish I'd planted more. Anyway, I've got to, here's mustard for the next farm activity, which is bringing the horses in. The rams are feeding, I've just fed them. And I've got to bring the horses in. I've got to stop filming because it takes two hands to untie this little gate and then unbolt that. So they'll be waiting very impatiently. Isn't that right? Yes. Oh, big sigh. Okay, back, up, back, back, back. Go on, go on, back up. Brindle, leave it. The horses all out speed them. <laughs> so there is some silly, silly lambs who are stuck on the other side of the fence. They don't understand the gate yet. You're not getting through. Can you back your? You're really not working that way, huh? Come on. Okay, you guys, you gotta figure out where the gate is. Oh, there we go. You have. Leave it, Inca, leave it. Come on, babies. Maybe I've got to herd you. No, 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 no. Yeah, add a girl. Go on. Come on. You're getting the wrong way. Go on. Go on. Go on. Go on. Brindle, leave it. Leave it. 
Leave it. There we go. Leave it. Leave it. There we go. Okay. Good girl. But you guys aren't interested, huh? You want to stay on this side. You're going to keep going on down that way. Under this avenue of beech trees. You beautiful girls. You're not interested in any food. Huh? No? There we go. Well, clean as a whistle and being cleaned as a whistle by Maya eating the last bits. Go on, babies. Brindle, leave it. Go on. Come on. Hey, leave it, Brindle. Go on. At a girl, Inca. Go on. Don't stop and eat. Go on. Come on, you silly pup. Come on. Inca. At a girl. Good girl. Good girl. Get him moving. At a girl. Go on. Okay. Job done. They've had their supper. Oh, look, Java, you're learning how to do it, aren't you? Yeah. Anyway, see you guys tomorrow. You have delicious herbal mix to eat and get fat on. Isn't that right, pup? Yeah. <laughs>